Hi everyone, I'm Haley. I'm a fourth year med student and I thought I would share the resources I used and like how I studied during my third year for my shelf exams. I feel like third year is kind of a weird year because no one really gives you a lot of direction or how to prepare. So hopefully this video is helpful for you. Um, so my biggest advice is to start studying as soon as you start a rotation. Um, don't do what I did. Uh, my first rotation was surgery and I had just come off of like step one, complex one uh, studying, finished that exam and went right into a surgery rotation. And I took like a week off <laughs> of studying for surgery um, and my score obviously reflected that. So if you can start studying that first or second day, obviously if you need a couple days to adjust to the rotation, go ahead and take that. But it's going to be very helpful to keep you on track and so you don't fall behind um, to start studying as soon as possible when you start a new rotation. Um, so resources, so practice questions are huge. Um, I used UWorld and I also used AMBOSS. Um, I liked both of them. Obviously everyone uses UWorld, everyone talks about it, but AMBOSS had a lot of great questions and I noticed that once I started incorporating AMBOSS questions into my studying, I felt like my scores were improving a lot more. Um, the next thing to do would be whichever question bank you're using, um, divide the total number of questions you have for that rotation. So let's say you're on your psych, psych rotation or ob guy rotation, um, and you take your number of questions, divide it up by how many days you're on that rotation, and then do that many questions a day if possible. Um, I think that will help create a good study plan, a good study schedule for you to keep you on track. Um, the next thing is everyone talked about online med ed, and I did try that for my first few rotations, but I, I don't know what was wrong with me <laughs> if I'm just so used to using like boards and beyond. Um, but the online med ed was just not sticking. I didn't like that I, like he was white, writing on a whiteboard. Um, I know that you can buy their study notes, but I just didn't. Um, so I ended up using boards and beyond and I bought their white Com companion book, which is a great resource for shelf exams and, you know, step two, step three prep. Um, so I recommend that that just worked for me. I just didn't like online med ed and boards and beyond worked a lot better. So do what works for you. Um, you can try out a few different things and just see what works best. Um, the next thing is that I, oh, I did use the online med ed study schedule for some of my rotations. If you go to their website, they have like a calendar and they'll um, pick out like what lectures to watch each day, which was great. So I did that, but then I would watch like boards and beyond videos instead. So that was helpful in making a study schedule. The next thing that I would recommend is to do the NBME practice exams. Um, I go to a DO school, but my school had us do NBME shelf exams, not the MBM, MBOME exams, which was great for step two prep. So I would pay for the exams. I think they're $20. I would try to do two for each rotation, depending on how long that rotation is. Maybe more, um, maybe up to three, just to make sure that you're learning and improving. I felt like I did see some repeat questions or concepts on the practice exams and then on like my actual MBME exam. I don't think they're the exact same questions, but they're obviously the same concepts and ideas. So definitely check those out because those are going to hopefully be the most accurate for the exam. Um, try to do, you know, one a week if possible, one every other week, again, depending on how long your rotation is. Um... Another thing that I felt really helpful and I wish I would have done this sooner is watching Dr. High Yield on YouTube. He has great review videos. Um, some of them are a little long, but you know, if he'll go, he'll go over all of the stuff or like high yield concepts for each shelf exam. So like I was saying, I watched Dr. High Yield on YouTube. Um, I would watch him like while I was on the treadmill, biking, whatever, just had the video playing on YouTube. I know a lot of my classmates would listen to his 
um, like lecture, his high yield review while they were driving, just pull up the YouTube video. You don't watch it while you're driving, obviously, but just listening to it is helpful. So I liked watching that because it was a very quick review, very high yield concepts, things like that. And he has a lot of great tricks and memorization tools um, to help you pull out that info while you're taking the exam. One thing I'll say is I did not use Anki as much during my third and fourth year of med school. Um, after I took step one and complex one, I, I just really didn't have the time during rotations, uh, to go and do Anki. Some people still really liked it, but I just, you know, did not find the time in my day. I was doing all these practice questions, watching lectures. And so if you're someone like me and you're like, oh, should I keep trying to do Anki or not? I would say maybe skip it. Um, if you have that time, go ahead and use it, especially if you like it. But I didn't use it at all third year. Um, well, I shouldn't say not at all, but I tried using it sometimes for certain rotations and it just didn't work as well. Um, it's better to do practice questions and get through all that material um, versus trying to just do flashcards. It's going to be better for you on your exams, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped. I hope um, if you have any questions about third year, let me know. It's a very weird time, um, especially since you're basically working a full-time job sometimes and having to go home and study after that. So best of luck. Thanks.